What is up, everybody? Scape211 here. We are on the test server, and we're finally going to be talking about the minigun. All right, we got the minigun 8 that we're going to be focusing on now. Um, so we're definitely going to talk about that as a new heavy-duty weapon. Lots to talk about. But first, uh, you know, we can talk quickly about the uh, new Epic Pilot case. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. You guys know how these work, but it has heavy-duty for its slot for the three different miniguns that we have. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Like I said, he's a, he's a standard epic, but for the heavy duty uh, class. So let's talk more about the weapon and the heavy duty class itself. All right. So we're starting here with the minigun eight, which is the middle of the road, obviously on these. Um, and it is, it's an interesting weapon. All right. It's, it's not really anything crazy, but you guys know generally how miniguns work. You've probably seen them on movies and stuff. Very cool. Um, the overall perk set up here is suppression. And if you look at heavy duties, it says weapons that pack serious punch and have a large magazine for continuous fire um, you know uh, it does have some spin-up time there is a high reload on this um, so you know very interesting uh, let's take a look at the stats here and kind of talk about all that so damage per magazine on this uh, is insanely high super high even for the eight which is crazy um, and then when we look at the damage per shot that is also uh, quite high um, so really good stuff it does have 200 per magazine and then the 511, 531 per shot. Huge uh, reload time, 17 seconds. Um, and it doesn't really have a perk, but you'll see that when you uh, when you get up there, um, it, it will adjust the optimal range at six star and then when you fully max it. So that's kind of like the perk, but it doesn't have a perk overall, the whole process. The hit cone on this is really big, actually. Very similar to like the pulse cannon. Has a shot delay of one second and it's gonna affect your mech turning speed because it's heavy duty. So it does have some downside. So it's almost like it gets all its perks up front. It does pack a heavier punch than other stuff, but it has the downside. So if we compare this real quickly here to the, uh, the uh, Pulse Cannon 8, which is another 8 weapon here. Um, you'll see that as damage per magazine is way lower. Uh, the damage per shot is lower. The RPMs is the same. Um, and even though this has like a pretty good size magazine, it's just not as, as big, right? Um, so, you know, we, we can see the similarities of what they're doing here. And they're just kind of amping up what you can do with a suppression weapon. Um, and then we have the reload speed way faster. The optimal range um, and the max range is pretty similar. Not as far max range, but you'll see that the hit cone gets way down here. Way better than the hit cone. And so that means per shot, it's going to be landing more. It's starting hit cone, which is really bad, is what, you know, you end up with at the minigun. So the minigun has a lot of spray to its hit cone, a, a lot of recoil to how it fires, basically, um, you know, by comparison. All right, so let's back out of this. And the other cousin that we can look at is the carbine. Now, this is the 12, but the 8 would have similarities. Um, I grabbed the 12 just so you can say even, see, even with the 12, it has more, um, uh, more overall damage per magazine. Um, even though this, this, you know, uh, has, uh, less shots and, and does more per shot. Um, but you look at its range and its optimal range, it's regular range or its optimal range is really low, but it's max range is good. The hit cone is way smaller and it has the double damage chance. So you can see how like this has its perks that are better than the minigun straight up. Same thing with the pulse cannon, mostly like how the shot spreads and stuff like that. And the minigun has some downsides. Um, I will say as a, um, as a suppression weapon, it follows a lot of similar tropes, it seems, but it just has more damage potential, obviously, because it has uh, a bigger clip. But it just means that you're gonna need to be out in the open for longer to make use of that clip. So um, it is interesting to see these heavy duty weapons. I'm assuming the idea is they're gonna do multiple styles of classes, maybe like some kind of missile or RPG that just has more in the chamber. Um, and also has its own downsides. Really interested to see what they do with the heavy duty weapon class. This first one seems pretty interesting um, and better than other um, heavy duty or other suppression weapons in my mind. Um, but you know, the idea is I, I don't I don't know if it's actually going to be realistic. But we'll we'll jump into some matches here. I'm trying it with the MD to start, um, and I'm using all of the uh, the epic implants for um, the the class. So we're gonna see how this goes. So let's jump into a match. Here we go. Mesa, yes, all right, here we go. We're running the MD largely because uh, I liked how the reload of this, once you get in the uh, legendary reload implant, 
the timing of the reload is close to your uh, healing um, time for the uptime. So it's easy where you can reload and then heal at the same time, you or your teammate. I just think that cycle is really good for the timing. So I thought it'd be fun to try and I don't really get to play MD much. So you can kind of see the spin up time there to get an idea of it. We're gonna reload right now. So your reload is 10 seconds and your heal is 10 seconds. So pretty even. Keep turning around, dude. Just stay in one spot. Why do you keep doing that? Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, this, like I said, the spin up time, you can see the animation of it right there. Um, and there are times where if you stop shooting for a second, but then come back to it real quickly, um, you won't really have that one second lag uh, because you're still spinning. So if, it, if you can take like short breaks in between fire, you can still benefit from that. Um, you'll see even at a long range, I'm hitting stuff. I'm not doing crazy high damage. Uh, let's see if we can get that guy. Ooh, yeah, that's good. He must have ran out of bullets because like if he was shooting me with those long arms, I would have been in trouble. All right. All right, fine, MD. Man, he keeps pushing me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I pl have played a few matches with this. Really good, really interesting um, in terms of just being fun to play. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as a suppression weapon like this, there's just so much direct exposure to so much that I, it's it's easy to die, man. It's easy to die even if you're playing your role well. Um, I mean, these are eight energy weapons. Uh, so, you know, eight energy is not going to put stuff down fast. But even when I was at like one and two star and just going solo against one solo bot, like I, I took down a stalker. Um, just because you have 200 bullets and and I was using airy so I could put the shield up I could tank the damage, you know really nice for brawling and that kind of stuff and then just yeah If you're trying to hold the position down and uh, have a lot of bullets to to fight the enemy with So I think it can have a place, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still not sure what to think about this weapon long term, you know um, And I'll, I mean this is only the eight energy one. I, I do think when you're thinking of suppression weapons it's pretty good, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, nice. We're putting up good numbers on that stalker. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can see decent numbers coming out of it. Not super amazing, but decent. Oh, no. Okay. Don't want to get tagged by those. The long arm Zephyrs are, are still going to take me out faster than I could take them out. They just do too much damage per shot. So, um, gotta be tricky. There we go. We got them. All right. And there we go. That was it on that. Yeah, really fun to play. I mean, mini guns and just spraying and praying bullets, just a lot of fun. Um, but the idea of how good is this? Is it realistic? Is it something you should get? The eight energy, of course, in my opinion, is a no. I mean, when you think of other eight energy, like a javelin eight, disc launcher eight, long arm eight, missile rack eight, based on how much damage those do per exposure i like those better than this weapon i still think your exposure time with these kind of weapons is too high um that may change a little bit when we look at the other variants here um and that's up for discussion but i do think you know in general i this is not a weapon that i think is going to be great i love what they're trying to do with heavy duty as a class though i think it's kind of interesting and i'd like to see what other type of variants they come out with aside from the minigun here to see you know, what kind of other heavy duty things they can do. Um, so I, I do think it's an interesting balanced weapon um, for what it provides, but I don't know if it's gonna be ideal. But you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below and we will see you out there on the battlefield.